Hey, welcome to OC Lounge. How is hey. everybody today? What's up, guys? Listen, this is a part of the week that we come together and what we want to do is we want to connect with our OC community. We want to yep. hear from the heart of the house from mm -hmm. some incredible leaders. And we also want to just resource you to be able to grow deeper in your relationship with God. And so if you're joining us for those reasons, awesome. If you're not, still join us. Yeah. Stay, <laughs> stick around. I want to introduce everybody today because we've got a fun episode. It is Easter week. Oh, yeah. Yes. Easter Maybe week. you want to call it Holy Week, though. I mean, that's really what a lot of people call yeah, it. Right. You know, you yeah. have so right. many events that happen in one week. But I let's just go to Easter. All okay. right. So Sweet. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to say your name and okay. fill in the blank you okay. ready okay, okay. so terrifying. my name is blank and okay. then my favorite thing to get in my easter basket is all right start okay. us off start us off okay okay i'm nina what's up guys hey everybody so nina. um can i go historical because i'm an adult i don't have anybody giving me an easter basket okay Remember, which is kind of sad do you yeah. want to bring me an easter you, basket i can bring you an easter basket it's making me feel sad that make i don't your get own one easter now basket. yeah maybe i'll make yeah. my own that's what i'm gonna do i'm <laughs> I, gonna do that I'm gonna i bring think it back. so okay but growing up i would say my favorite thing i got was do you remember day of the week underwear what <laughs> when you're yes kid? it's like yes. I'd, I'd come out and there would be an empty basket because you have to find the easter eggs but there was day of the week underwear so if you're like I absolutely a child of the I, 80s like, or 90s. I have no idea what you're talking oh, about. Oh, I have a very specific Well, maybe they didn't have one for little boys. I don't know, but. Maybe they did, but yeah. for girls, I know that the, the band you know exactly? had stitching yes. Yes. and it would be embroidered in the mm -hmm. band like Monday, Tuesday. I remember I mean, ones with strawberries on them, like yeah. fruit. Yeah, but like, why did we need those? Well, uh, especially for Easter. I know, but like, why do you need to know? Is <laughs> the, it like, the oops, I forgot obvious. what day it is. You like check your underwear. You're like, it's Monday. I remember now. <laughs> what day is it? Oh. Uh, Monday. Monday. No, it's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, it's Tuesday. Actually, right now right it's now Tuesday. Right now it's Tuesday. Right. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. That's okay, so that favorite. was your Out of all things in an Easter basket. Yeah. Right, wow. Days of the week underpants. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's good to know. It's good to know. I feel like we've already just passed a threshold that we can't come back You can't for. come back. Yeah. <laughs> top yeah. that, right? right. Uh, top I, that. I don't think I can top <laughs> that. Uh, no, one thing that uh, we used to do Easter egg hunts with my great-grandparents. Okay. And my oh. great-grandpa, he would always okay. in... Like some of the eggs would just be stuffed full with quarters. Okay. And like oh, as a, as a little guy, rich. like I was always an entrepreneur. Like, <laughs> you know, I would You're like opportunistic Easter's. Like what's I would happen. fold up paper airplanes and sell them to kids in my neighborhood. Yes, you, know, like, you did. Okay. And so uh, come on, but doing the Easter egg hunt, I was always like going around and like all the other grandkids and stuff. I'd be like, yeah. hey, trade candy for the for yeah. the coins, you know. <laughs> but, Easter eggs full of quarters. That had to be so. heavy. You had to know that was like the jackpot. Oh, yeah. 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 But Did your grandparents ever give y'all $2 bills? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was such All a big time. thing growing up with mm -hmm. my grandparents. Every card. Yep. As a matter of fact, I would get Easter cards with a $2 bill. Yeah. Easter cards. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, you know, I had yeah. I had a grandparent that she put a, a card in the mail for every a holiday, every for event, everything. you know, with a $2 bill. Did you That's save them? awesome. I did save a lot of them. And then I I don't know where they are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're in the attic somewhere. Are they still, yeah. thing? Are they still in circulation? I'm I don't know. Yeah. Chat, put it in the chat yeah. and let us know. Our two dollar bill is still a thing. Can yeah. we find one? And if so, where? And our day of the week. Google Warriors. Still a thing. Do your best. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. Right. I, my name is Candace. I'm actually your host today. I'm a dream teamer here at Oaks Church, and Ooh. I would say that probably the favorite thing in my Easter basket would be hot tamales candy. Oh mm. yeah. Okay. Oh, the best candy. That's not M and M's. So good. I'm I'm such a red cinnamon candy person, mm -hmm. and so sure. that to me just felt. Mm, it wasn't Easter unless you had the hot tamales. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> wasn't Easter. Well, we're going to jump straight into a segment. Okay. It's cool. called, You Want to Play? Oh, boy. I you do. You want to play? I do want to play. <laughs> yeah, let's play. For this segment, we've got some Easter eggs cool. on our table. I, I, we hope that y'all can see that here at the lounge. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to move some stuff here. I'm going to move this little stuffed animal, but here's a prize. We've actually got a prize. You what? Ready? That's the prize? Like, I can win this that? This is not the prize. Oh, oh this is so cute, though. But it is cute. Yeah. It is cute. But this is... This oh, right here. Okay. If you don't know, I'm a Reese's guy. This is yeah. another. Oh, you're a Reese's guy. So I am. This is an Easter basket goodie. Big a big up. peanut butter bunny. Okay. Okay. So this is what we're playing Sweet. for. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to see the different patterns of the eggs. Make a commitment. Grab two eggs of the same pattern. Two eggs of the same two pattern. Two eggs. Just grab them. Just right grab now. Right now. Grab them. Go for it. Grab them. Oh, you're picking oh, wait, the zebra. Oh, one? No, one. Just, just one. one. Okay. Just two. Of them. Okay. So the rest of these can go. I'm All right. Scared. Wow. Got them. Got them. You excited? Yeah. Here's what the game is. You want to play? You want to play? Yeah. What we're going to do, and y'all can play this with your family too. So if you've got some people that you're like, oh, this, I'm looking for Easter games. 
right here. Okay. We, don't, we don't just stop at the biblical teaching. We got games for you. What we're going to do is we're going to put these on the table and we're just going to spin them. And the last egg that stays on the table actually wins okay. the round. Really? Let's okay. do best two out of three. I'm so going to say... So we each spin one egg. So yeah. there's three eggs spinning simultaneously. Yes. Okay. And so you're going to start with one egg. I'm okay. going to say three, two, one, and then you spin. Ready? Okay. okay. Yeah. Three, two, one, spin. Oh, oh, oh. Mine, mine's the first one off. Really? No. No. Oh. no! <laughs> oh. Round one. Goes to Nina oh. right over here. Okay. okay, got your second egg. Clear it off. All right, here we go. You ready? On um, three, two, one, spin. No! Why am I so violent? Okay. Okay, so round two. So now. Oh, no, no, he's out. Oh, but it was the last one. But on the it's the last one. Right? Okay. okay, so oh, okay, he's the it. last one. So yeah. now it's a spin off. It's between y'all. Okay. okay. Ready? Best two out of three. There you go. Three, two, one, spin. Oh, I'm gone. Hey! Oh, there we go. Look and at you one. said you're a peanut butter guy. I oh, know. Look at you. Whoa. You want to play? This I'm segment so has been brought won. to you Thank today you. by my imagination. So Thank let's you. go. Imagination. Go. Watch this. Imagine. Oh. I really want feel to do free. You guys made it look fun. I did it. It does feel it like does empowering feel just to toss something. Get out of here. Get morning, out of here. Morning ritual is just shoving clear a table <laughs> full of easter eggs clear a table i don't care what table it is just clear it wouldn't okay. that be great that's like very christ-like man it, uh, maybe maybe yeah. not <laughs> clear the tables you know flip oh the yeah, he did right. flip yeah. Some. yeah he did flip some they had See easter eggs on those tables yeah. he was upset about those. you know what else <laughs> happened at a table is what we're going to discuss today. Oh, okay. Okay. See that little All right. switch? I'm tracking. Wow. Switch. We're talking that about skilled. communion. I, that, that is cool. some skill. Yeah. Do y'all know the Lord's Supper? Do y'all do y'all know the famous painting yeah. of the right. Lord's Supper? They're all on one side of the table. Right. It must have been really difficult <laughs> all... for the waitress. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, imagine. Hey, everybody's just on this side. That's great. Yeah. Um, we're actually talking today about a topic that I think often we just kind of just go, okay, this is something, it's an ordinance. It's mm. something yeah. that we do during the service, but we right. want to dive a little bit deeper into that, knowing that this is Holy Week. And this is one of the biggest stories that happens in the final week of Jesus's life. Yeah. And not only is it a story that happens in his life, it's something that we perpetuate. I mean, we continue to do as we get together now. And so yeah. let's just jump right into it. Um, I want to just ask just a really honest question here. Is there something that you celebrate often to remember other than a birthday hmm. or a wedding or an anniversary, something that was a special moment to you? And listen, this could be something that was even um, tragic hmm. or maybe uh, absolute joy. Yeah. So is there something that you remember growing up? Hmm. Growing up or does it have to be growing up? It doesn't have to be growing up. It could be something that you do right now. Yeah. I think <clears throat> I think for me, uh, I'm really bad with dates. You know, I got the like the the normal milestones down, but normally dates don't stick out to me super well. But okay. one one that's really important for me, super easy to remember, is yeah. July fourth of twenty eighteen. Um, and very so, specific. Yeah. So okay. very specific. God was doing a, a lot of work in my life and I was struggling as a lot of young young men do. Sure. with uh pornography addiction and oh, it was wow. it was really really like wow. costing me a lot and uh god was just uh, i remember that day as i was trying to really really mm -hmm. fight for breakthrough and for freedom i remember that day easy one to remember july 4th yeah. that god yeah. said i'm going to bring you into new freedom yeah. and so it was over that over that summer that god did some really really cool wow. things in my life and so that's uh that's a date that that i consistently remember and so um, easy to remember for celebrating the freedom that God brought to me from that. So yeah, I was about to say I don't know if if that was thrown away or not. But Nina, you were like Independence Day, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah, isn't that crazy how God just kind of solidifies some things and does some things on dates? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that was going to be my story. That's Your crazy. exact same story? Well, no. Okay. Around a date, like an okay. Easter date. So yeah. on Easter Saturday six years ago we were up here serving at the church and we mm -hmm. had a call that we had a baby to adopt wow like while Big we were day. up here wow and it's not been lost on me that it's easter weekend like yeah. where god makes all things new and, yeah. and just all that but wow. just how how intentional with the holidays and right like the remembrances and reminders yeah. already baked into what the day signifies yeah you know? that's cool so that's cool for you that's amazing Maybe you have a date mm -hmm. that you're remembering. Share with us in the chat. If, if one comes to mind, you're like, hey, that just reminded me. Jog my memory. This is my date. Mine's going to seem so shallow <laughs> after oh, okay. what y'all just hey, beautifully we need all of it. So, right. all of it. so May 7th. I don't remember the year. Yeah. I just call it the May 7th haircut. 
It was the worst haircut I've okay. ever had in my life. Tragic. I it was <laughs> it. I look like a, a, a grown woman with a mullet. If you're a grown what woman with a say? mullet, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no shade being thrown at you right now. Just for me, I didn't want to be all you know business in the front, party in the back. I was yeah. wanting to be party everywhere. So sure. Um, uh, but I I cried over that yeah. haircut. No. Like it was one of those where I was like, I can't grow it back. Fast enough yeah. right and listen y'all threw a little comment in here what my son say yeah. just before we got on camera <laughs> i was telling them a story about how my 11 year old told me the other day when i wore my hair curly Jay that Davis. it that i look like a drowned rat <laughs> and not only that but that my hair looked greasy so <laughs> needless to say my yeah. self-confidence was really high are you gonna tell us what you said in response or no you're gonna leave that uh... i'll i'll leave that to your imagination <laughs> i will leave that to your imagination uh, what any good parent should tell their child after being told that ugly truth so <laughs> no but may 7th man that is a day for me mm -hmm. what's funny is um i won't go get my hair cut on a may 7th ever again really oh. i won't do wow. it i won't do it because i believe that i'm gonna get a bad haircut on may 7th wow so i know that that sounds silly but here's the deal the reason why i want us to jog our memories this morning is because there are certain days certain times that we actually are called back to remember and mm -hmm. to celebrate and to either look at it and go, Ooh, I'm always going to have that moment with me. And what communion is in essence, communion is an opportunity for us to recall, mm -hmm. to remember, to say, this is important. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're going to discuss yeah. a little bit yeah. more. It may not be a May 7th haircut. It may not be, you know, an Easter weekend for adoption or, or setting free from an addiction, but I'm telling you communion, the reason we celebrate that together is because it does some incredible stuff for yeah. us. Right. So that just brings me to the so word good. of the day. Yeah. Guess what it is? Communion? Communion. Okay, I got it. Yeah. All right, it's right. Well done. A lot of the times when we have our word for the day, yeah. we, we do it in another language, mm -hmm. something, you know, Greek, Hebrew, because we try to sound a little scholarly here and, and, and <laughs> we just, try. you know, make us all feel a little smarter. But yeah. honestly, I felt like communion is this word that we find ourselves saying a lot in church mm -hmm. and maybe don't have a proper definition. Mm -hmm. So we've got a screen right here. And Ryan, I'm going to ask, can you just read the yeah. first definition of communion for us? Yeah. Communion is yeah. the service of Christian worship at which bread and wine are consecrated and shared. Okay, so how many of you would say that that's what you know communion to be? Right. It, yeah. It's some yeah. sort of Christian worship event. It's, yeah. it's what we do, and we share bread and wine. Well, or maybe juice. Yeah. Right. Juice, yeah, you know. Depending on the context. Yeah, Packy, yeah. Packy juice. Yeah, yeah, the packy <laughs> juice. And it's something where um, we... we definitely set it aside as a special time. Right. Yeah. It's not that we just have bread and juice lying around in the services and we pick it up and we're like, I'm going to do this at any point that I feel like it. Yeah. Like it's, it's, it's the knowledge that this is right. a special yeah. moment. Yeah. All right. But go ahead. There's another definition I want us to look at the word of the day. Nita, would you read sure. the second one for us? Sure. It's the sharing or exchanging of intimate thoughts and feelings, especially mm. when the, ex uh, the exchange, when the, ex what? It's not a typo. It's probably a typo. Okay. Yeah. Especially when the exchange is on a mental or spiritual level. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So communion is not just about a sacred ritual or a service with mm -hmm. bread and wine. Right. But you can also look at the word communion to mean a deep, intimate connection between yeah. thoughts and feelings. Yeah, I like that. It's like, it's like a both and it's a both. It's and. not, it's not one or the other. It's a both. And absolutely. Mm. So this week here in the lounge, what I want us to do is maybe kind of look at the end of that. Yeah. Mm. Like how, yeah. how can we have communion in this sacred space that we set aside with the elements of bread and wine, mm. right. but actually have our hearts connect with God on a deeper level wow. and actually say, I want more intimacy with Jesus in this moment. Yeah. Here at Oaks Church, yeah. we say this a lot. Jesus is here, finish it for me. Anything, Anything is possible. possible. Anything is possible. Yeah. And so when we're taking time to deliberately remember what he's done in mm -hmm. the middle of this week, yeah. right? this is Holy Week, y'all. This is the week that was his last, and not just last on earth, but almost the finality of so many things for our sin. I mean, it was, it was like, yeah. this is, Final to the point where from the cross he said it is finished. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, like there's some major finality in this week. Yeah. We are in the end game, y'all. Hey, 
Avengers little reference there. <laughs> but we, we are in the end game and communion. I thought it'd be great for us to keep oh, going yeah. and yeah. really find an intimate space with the Lord here. Yeah. So we've got today's passage and yep. I'm, and we want to move from just hearing the word, but to also be doers of the word. So will you right. share the passage with us today? I would Nina? love to. Yeah, it's Matthew 26. We're going to read 26 through 29. Gotcha. And it says, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, take and eat it. This is my body. Mm. Then he took a cup and after giving thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. But I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. Wow. Mm. Wow. Yep. So from this, we can kind of gather some basic things. We observe communion to commemorate the death of Christ. It's, yeah. it's almost this, do this in remembrance right. of me. Yeah. Have you ever seen the the table with the uh, etching in the front of oh, the yeah. road? Right. Yeah. This right. do yeah. in remembrance of me at the right. front of a church. Uh -huh. yeah, it's, it's because that's where the elements were, were stored so that mm -hmm. you would do that to remember it. Um, it also signifies, seals, and applies the believer's the benefits of this new covenant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like he says, I'm, this is a new covenant that I make. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so it gives us this identity of knowing that I'm a part of a new relationship with the Lord, uh, something that is sealed in a new way. And yeah. no longer do I have the, the uh, ability to go through God, through a priest or through somebody that's a, a curtain. Like it's been torn. There's right. this, there's this newness in the intimacy that we get. Yeah. Right. So I love it. If, if someone was maybe like, hearing about communion for the very, very first time, mm -hmm. right? First time ever hearing about that, or maybe yeah. the, that it's a thing that happens in church or whatever else. The idea of like, you know, remembering what Jesus did, that sounds like a good thing to do, mm -hmm. right? If, yeah. You know, he, he, what he did was so important, but the connection for his body is the bread and his blood is the juice. And that kind of like symbolism is yeah. kind of like really kind of odd, you know, it doesn't yeah. make the most sense. So like, I don't know, for someone maybe watching and wondering that, how would you like say like what what is Jesus trying to get at with with the symbolism mm -hmm. that he's that he's hitting on there? Yeah. I well mean, first off, I love that you said symbolism. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. You know, because I mean that could be interpreted yeah. to be a very symbolic thing yeah. that right. he's telling yes. us, you know. Yeah. Um I don't believe that we eat his actual flesh sure, or yeah. that we drink his actual blood or that it metastasizes in our yeah. esophagus as that right. way. I do know there are some people that may may have that belief, but yeah. I don't believe that personally. I believe yeah. that it's very symbolic. But yeah. bread itself, I mean, like if you, if you take a piece of bread and you eat it, it does in a way like nourish you. And so yeah. the symbolism connected with that, like, like when we partake in Christ, you know, in that mm. way, it's like the idea of when you eat bread and it, and it sustains you and nourishes you. It's like yeah. the symbolism. I love how Jesus uses images and metaphors so much because it helps you remember. And it yeah. does feel a bit dramatic, right? Like drink the blood, right? you yeah. know, but it's a really big deal what he did. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think it'd be easy to try and just go, well, let's like tone that down a little bit, but the cross is a big deal yeah. and a big deal to remember. Yeah. And, and yeah. what he did. And I just, I, I do love being able to carry that, that metaphor and that image of the communion elements as like a gathered meal mm -hmm. and what like practically a shared meal is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Like when you share a meal with someone, the meal itself should nourish you. That's what you need food for to nourish you. But mm -hmm. also a shared meal builds community. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? And so right there, the, yeah. the metaphor God gave the image that Jesus gave right there is mm -hmm. implied the benefits of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, just I'm, like you gather around with your friends and eat, this is what happens. This is what happens in the spiritual realm at the same time. Right. Yes. Yeah. And I don't think I've actually had this thought until just now. So you know what? Take it just with a grain of it. salt. Yeah. We're going to go with it here. But when I think of bread and when I think of um, wine and, and, and equating those to being something that we need, like flesh and blood. So bread for me is always something that feels like it's my daily intake mm -hmm. to give me life. Yeah. So it's daily. And then I think about my blood life. You know what I mean? Mm. Like you think that is, I've, I've had red blood cell counts that have been low before where I've had to have a transfusion. Yeah. Mm. And what happens when you don't have healthy blood in your body mm -hmm. is, is there's death that yeah. is knocking on your door. Yeah. And for Jesus to say, I'm not what only gives you life for your entire life. 
but I'm also what sustains you in your daily life. Right. Mm-hmm. Like that's, that's symbolically huge to know that yeah. we have a Messiah. We have God's son. We have the one that's the propitiation for our sin, flat out saying, I can, cons- I can sustain your entire eternity yep. right. and allow you access to God. But not only that, I can give it to you every day. Right. Like you, you have access every single day. Yeah. And I think communion, it goes back to that intimacy. Yeah. It is about the access to God. Mm-hmm. It's about that relationship. So man, it may feel a little bit different the next time that y'all take communion, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. It might feel a lot bit different to us. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I, I hope that that's the thing. I hope after today's lounge, you're like, wow, that's, that's actually getting me to think different when we get these little cups. As a matter of fact, We've got some here. Yeah, and I thought, do you have one over there? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm going to invite too. We've got production people here helping us at, at OC Lounge. And and sometimes they don't get the greatest shout out. But hey, guys, how y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> They've got their own cup as well. And we're yeah. just going to take communion together. Yeah. And, and here's what I love is we have this, this moment in our... Uh, lounge every week where we do Holy Spirit activate. So Holy y'all Spirit, Spirit, come on. Right. Holy Spirit activate. You know you can't do it without. <laughs> mm, we got that little jingle going. It's just not even one we created, but we are jumping on. I'm telling you, we're taking advantage of. We want it to happen. Absolutely. So. How could so you not? When we're going to activate this moment, we're going to take um, the actual cup and and the body, and we're going to number one mirror for you how you do the yeah. ordinance of communion. But also, um, if you're with us and you have the ability to just grab something near you that's a cracker and some juice and you want to take this with us, let's go. And if you're watching on the replay, pause. Mm -hmm. Just hit pause and come back and have the elements with you. And let's take this together. Yeah, I love it. Okay. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to unwrap the top here and we're going to look at the what we have is like this little wafer and it's just Mm -hmm. bread. And and what we're going to do is do this in remembrance of the fact that Jesus... This week, this holy week, he did not have his life taken from him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He chose to give it freely. Right. He laid it down. His body was broken so that we would be able to come into the presence of God mm-hmm. without sin, blameless. Mm-hmm. And so we're going to remember this. So Jesus, we remember your body that was yes. broken for our sins. And by your stripes, we are healed. And if you just remember that, maybe you want to say a prayer in your mind right now, thanking him for that. I'll say mine out loud to kind of give you some example. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for making a way where there was no way for me to be right with God. Thank you for covering and taking my sin. Thank you for giving your life for me. Amen. Something special about doing this in the middle of Holy Week. Yeah. Mm Come on. Mm-hmm. I kind of got goosebumps right now. Y'all mm. just thinking about all that the Lord has done. Yeah. All right. And for the blood, um, we are told in the word that, that we are able by the sprinkling of Jesus's blood to enter into the presence of God. Right. And so there is a covering that he has done. And um, Ryan, would you mind saying that prayer out loud for yeah. us? Thanking him for what he's done. Mm-hmm. God, we thank you that. The spilling of your blood has is the thing that pays for our sins. Mm. And we know that our sins up to this point have been many, and that there's going to be more in the future that we're going to make. But you've been so gracious and kind as to make a way to pay for what was separating us from you. Wow. And because of that, we get to uh, live in eternity with you in heaven one day. And so for that, we thank you for your blood. And mm. uh, God, as we t- drink this juice, uh, let, it, let it be a reminder to us of, Wow. how you've covered our sin. You want us to look more and more like you and that you've given us the means to look more like you through the power of your Holy Spirit. So God, we remember who we were and we remember who we are now in you. And we thank you for your blood. In Jesus' name. Yeah. And then you can take the cup and drink. As you remember. I'd love to challenge our online audience right now in our community here, um, maybe take the next week. Let's just start here. This this next week, whatever's left of it, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and in the privacy of your own house, mm. just take communion every morning mm. yeah. or every evening. Set aside a time during your day right. and, and do this in remembrance of what Jesus has done. Uh, this is such a, an incredible thing that we get to do together when we gather. Yeah. 
And I do love the impact of that corporate worship when we mm. do it as a church family of God. Mm. Right. But I think that there's also some power that may be available to you as you celebrate and as you remember what Jesus has done this week, very personally in your alone time, maybe take those elements yeah. mm -hmm. and just do what we did here very simply. Mm -hmm. Man, are there any other thoughts on communion that we just didn't cover that you're like, we got to say this? You know, I think one thing that's really cool is, yeah. um, and we haven't said this yet, is like Jesus calls himself the bread of life. Right. Yeah. You know? And, and yeah. man, when, yeah. when, when you're looking at it that way and then you're looking kind of at like, man, Jesus' blood is what makes us right with God. Yes. And almost the the idea of when he's like, hey, do this like in the meal context. Mm. I think what's cool is like he's inviting people to choose to partake, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it's wow. not it's not even just a thing of wow. like, hey, Jesus did the thing. Sweet. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. But he says, hey, when you come together, mm -hmm. do this in remembrance of me. And every time that we do that, we are remembering as we eat bread. Jesus, you are the bread of life. Absolutely. And every time that we drink, it's like, God, I am I am putting myself in agreement yeah. and so, so thankful good. for the fact that your blood paid for our sins. And so I just think it's yep. cool that it's it's a re-engagement of yep. our commitment to him because we're remembering what he's done. Yeah. So, and so I, I think that's really cool. Ooh. I do too. And, and, I, and I think about that bread of life and just the, the symbol. It, I think of it like a wedding or a ceremony or that sacred moment that mm. you say where you just... Mm. You take a moment to kind of bring alignment and congruence to your your physical being and your spiritual being. Yeah. And you kind of just give it a moment for yeah. them to be in alignment. Yeah. Like I'm taking in my body this truth in alignment with what I believe about what Jesus did. Yeah. And you, you give it that moment. I think that's powerful for your body to continue to walk each day with with God. And just to bring your your spirit and your body into alignment. Yeah. Well, I'm a I'm a 100 believer in that your your body and your taste buds can recall things yeah. mm. and certain memories. Yeah. So I do think that it's amazing. Like talk about an outback steak right now. I'll be able to tell you all day long what it tastes <laughs> like. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you yeah. say certain foods and you're like, oh, right. I can taste it. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like this is one of those rare moments in communion that we get to actually taste mm. and see that the Lord is good. Oh, that's right. so good. So let's go. Well, can I go one little thought deeper? Because deeper. It, like there's a lot of trauma recovery stuff about the body remembering and your mm -hmm. body remembers the yeah. bad things. Yeah. How much more do we need to remember? Woo! Oh, like that Christ's yes. love and his sacrifice yeah. breaks and is bigger than that. Yeah. Yes. You know, so like talk about the body remembering, like, yeah. come on. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. What? Okay. Well, <laughs> so all of our gold was here at the end of the episode. <laughs> so <laughs> that was incredible. It's just, I, I challenge, I challenge all of us here too. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm going to do it the rest of this week as well. Mm -hmm. And I want, want to challenge our online community yeah. to do it as well. Let us know in the chat, come back, Yeah. yeah. come back. Let us know in the chat what happened when you, when you took the challenge. Um, oh man, we'd love to know. Yeah. I would yeah. please love do to it. know. Please, yeah. please do it. Yeah. Here at Oaks Church, no one walks alone. Right. So we finish up the lounge every single time, taking a special space to pray for your needs and pray for you. And so um, Nina, would you close us out in some prayer? I would. Yeah. God, thank you so much for just um, this chance to gather around this table today with these people yes. and just even what I felt, God, the connection and, and the communion with you and with my friends around this table. So I thank you for that. And I thank you for just everyone watching, God, that they would have a chance to um, be in communion with you, to be remembered mm. to you and to your body, God, that whether they're watching this alone um, or with others, that they would find those people to be connected with in the body, God, that um, that they would feel less alone today than they felt in a really long time. And so I just thank you for them, God. I thank you that you are meeting every one of our needs, God, whether we see it or not in this moment. You've gone before us, God. You are making all things new. And so this Easter week, may we be reminded of the work that you've done on the cross, God, that you've gone um, before us, that you have um, offered your body as a sacrifice, God, mm -hmm. for the forgiveness of our sins, for the healing mm -hmm. of our bodies and our lives, God. And I speak that over every person listening and watching yes. today, God, that your will be done, that everything will be made new, that needs will be provided for. God, you see every single one. Yeah. And we thank you that you're making a way. So good. We love you so much, Jesus. And we ask these things in your name. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hey, thank you for joining us today at OC Lounge. Yeah. Um, until next time, may you experience the presence of a God who mm -hmm. sees you, yeah. knows you, and loves you deeply. Yeah.